Yo, what's up guys? Rado's over here with his 1992 KDX 200. Uh, the front brakes haven't been working too good, so we're gonna try to get those fixed. We have an idea. Let's get to it. So what did you find out about these front brakes? What do you think the problem is? That the rubber line gets squishy. That's why there's still pressure in the brakes, but so, it's hopefully just expanding the rubber. So you think this line is expanding? So it's not transferring the energy to the caliper. It's just expanding this because this is so old, huh? Yeah, but I get another worry too. I notice there's some fork oil and that might be in the pad. So that might mean the pads are just junk. So what we're going to do is replace this line with a new one. We're going to see if that helps. If that doesn't seem to help, then I guess the problem lies somewhere else. Maybe it could be the cheap brake pads or uh, I don't know, something else. But we're going to try this first to see if this fixes it. It says this should always face away, but it, on stock it's facing in. That'll be perfect. So first, gonna unbolt the uh, this guy. What do we got? Two nines, you think? Eights. <laughs> yeah. See, like I said, Job. super easy. <laughs> Need that wind torque. So I got some apparel made up for myself here. I got some Dapper Dan shirts. Oh yeah. That brake pads probably definitely took, because I figured. I don't know if I could have put this thing back on it. No, because there's no way I'd be able to get it off. It looks like the new one kind of comes with one. So I haven't made video in almost a month now. As you guys may remember, I injured my wrist uh, last time I went riding about four weeks ago. And it's not really getting better. So. I need to go see a specialist or an orthopedic or something. I've talked to two doctors over the phone. They both said it's just sprained, but it seems now in the past couple days that it may actually be getting worse. And it hasn't really been improving at all in the past three weeks. So unfortunately, I still cannot ride or really even work on anything. So I don't really know what to make videos about because I can't do anything. I think I'll give you guys a little update on the machines. TM is doing well. Uh, nothing was damaged when I crashed, so this thing's in good shape. It's ready to go. I think I'm going to order a new chain and uh, some new grips for the season. I might actually order a uh, gummy tire for the back. I want to try one of those gummy hybrid tires. This one's still got a little life left in it, but I figure I'd start off the season with a new tire, try a, a different style out. I've heard a lot of good things about those hybrid gummies, so to try that out. I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with the go-kart. Having some trouble with the go-kart, but I'm still kind of determined to make it reliable and make it work, right? Because I really just want to be able to hop on this thing whenever, rip it around, and not worry about constantly having problems with it, you know? Pretty much everything is working perfectly on it, except for the chain keeps falling off. If you haven't seen this thing before, this is uh, my custom home-built go-kart. It's got an 80cc two-stroke motor on it. This is off a of KDX 80. So it's like Rado's bike up there. It's air-cooled 80cc two-stroke, but it's only an 80 instead of a 200. And uh, I modified the whole front end, redid it, put bigger tires on it. It's got an aluminum split sprocket, but I am having problems throwing the chain. And I got a tensioner on here Tensioner seems to be doing its job. Main problem seems like what I'm having now. I ordered this aluminum sprocket carrier and the split sprocket from Go Power Sports. I know everybody raves about Go Power Sports and they sponsor a lot of channels, but I did not have good luck with this sprocket. So you can see it's hard to move by hand, but this sprocket is moving. Um, this never worked right from the moment I got it. I got this sprocket hub. I put it on there. I tightened it down. It seemed tight. I was out of alignment a little bit, so I readjusted it, and when I went to tighten it down the second time, it doesn't stay tight anymore, so I would not recommend this sprocket carrier, this Go Power Sports sprocket hub. I think what I'm going to do is replace that um, with something different, and or I might put locking collars on both sides and try that first, but I also want to get one of those sprocket chain guards that goes up on both sides here to uh, try to eliminate you know, any little small misalignments throwing the chain, but pretty sure if the sprocket would stay put, 
it would stop throwing the chain for the most part. But I definitely think the way to go is to put the sprocket guard because it has those edges that stick up past the chain and kind of keep it on the sprocket. So we're going to do one last sprocket modification on this thing eventually once my hand is better because I can't even really work on this thing right now. So I'll order the new parts when I'm feeling better. Who knows when that's going to be. Hopefully we'll get this freaking go-kart ripping uh, on the regular and reliably this summer. The go-kart's super fun to ride. If you guys haven't seen the videos, go down on my channel. A whole bunch of go-kart build videos and there's a whole bunch of videos of us ripping it because we actually did have it work in there for a while, but constantly with chain problems. So we're gonna try to get that resolved. Back is that or front? It was like it was front, huh? no, no. So we're installing the new line up here, and then we already got it down here. We got the new line. We got the new line hooked up down there. And there's a little trick to bleed your master first. Don't crush these washers yet. So fill that up first a little before you tighten the crush washer. Rag. I should bleed the master, so kind of need more hands than this. But we'll pump a few times, hold. <laughs> if I can get the rag in place, crack it. Try to get some fluid coming out of here first. Which nothing. Working real good, huh? Well, we got everything hooked up. Now we're just going to try to bleed it as usual and see what happens. I don't know. Open, close. Open, close. Getting nothing. Open, closed. They bleed now. There goes a lot of air. Big bubble. Working its way out. We're trying to get the air out of the system, but I don't know. We're having trouble. We're trying to try to gravity bleed it right now. See if that helps. But right now we're not having good results. But we're just trying to get the air out of the system. Bad air coming out now. Now we got some air coming out. We're doing a gravity bleed. We're just letting the we're just leaving the bleeder open and letting the uh, fluid come through. Now you see, it looks like we might be at the end of the air right there. Fluid. Oh, shit, it came out quick. Putting fluid in there, buddy. Ooh, look at that, no air. Just keep pouring fluid in the top and keep letting it bleed out, and I think you might get all the air that way. So we may have the brakes bled and ready to test. Uh, we're still not sure if the line was the actual problem, but there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Doesn't look like he's happy with the results. So we just took this flap wheel and we scuffed up the uh, front rotor and we like deglazed the pads, kind of scuffed the pads up, made everything look nice and fresh. And uh, said it helped a little bit, but not a lot. So maybe he needs a new caliper, a new master cylinder, a new rotor, or all three. I'm sure if he replaced all of those, um, it would be working really good. But those parts are expensive for that bike and he doesn't want to put that much money into it. I don't know. Maybe this is as good as we're going to get them. So if you're having problems with your front KDX 200 brakes, I don't know. 
I was hoping we'd uh, have a, a definitive fix for you guys in this video. We're hoping the line would solve it all, but it didn't seem like that was really the problem. Seems better. Seems like it was definitely diving the front end a lot. Willie. Willie. Hi. Everybody, this is Lily. She's a three year old lab pit mix. Huh. Yeah. Oh, happy dog. Who's a happy dog? Oh. What happened? A bug threw in my mouth. <laughs> 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 I feel it in my. Dapper Dan, motherfucker. <laughs> 